It's opening day. It's the best day of the year. Uh, that's objective. That's 100% true. The best day of the year is baseball's opening day. It's here. We're finally ready for baseball. We could talk about baseball and not talk about anything else, but uh, uh, anything off the field stuff right now. It's 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 all about the games. It's it's a good time. It's good. To, it's good. To, it's good to be a baseball fan. And this, uh, I wanted to talk about this with you guys because uh, I talked to the good folks at Card Ladder, Chris and Josh, and uh, they brought up a point on that interview over at the Mint that I think they were onto something. That since the hobby has had its sort of its post-2020 boom, that basketball cards had its moment, uh, obviously with Zion and Ja and then LaMelo. Football had its moment, Joe Burrow and, 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 and Justin Herbert. And you could even say last year with 2021 as well, a huge influx of rookie QBs. Baseball hasn't quite had that moment yet of becoming the prominent sport, the sport everybody in the hobby is talking about. Uh, but this feels like the year where it's destined to happen. They were saying this is the year of baseball. And, I mean, I, I, I think I was a believer with Wanda Franco, but – now Bobby Witt Jr., Julio Rodriguez, Spencer Torkelson, Wander Franco, all these names. Plus, there's other guys who have been hobby favorites from, for, for a couple of years now. Luis Robert could be having a big breakout year. A lot of guys that we've liked in the hobby for a while. So I'll just pose the question to you guys. Is 2022 the year of baseball cards? Man, um, you know, it's funny you say that. We I feel like we've had a lot of years of great baseball like at least in the hobby performance uh you had i mean recently otani soto tatis judge judge yeah uh vlad jr uh wander this year even uh even players like like joe adele like he he was another one that was that was a driving force behind a lot of the products um there's I mean, I think we're jumping to, jumping to this because last year was one of the few years where the baseball category didn't perform. There wasn't a standout rookie. Mm -hmm. um, the prospects were still solid. So the yeah. prospect product still did really well. Like last year's Bowman Chrome did well. Last year's Bowman Draft did well. Yep. Um, it was the flagship products that, that kind of suffered with no – rookie that was performing at an extremely high level that was driving the products. So I I don't think ba I don't think baseball really went anywhere. We're not looking for a resurgence. It's just I think we're preparing for what could be one of the best rookie classes mm -hmm. that we've seen in the last like four or five years, which is scary because I just named off a bunch of players. A lot of good names. Uh, a lot of players that did really well uh, for value in the hobby. So what do, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I think um, with the recent news of all those uh, those young kids, those prospects getting caught up this year, I think this rookie class is going to be obviously like one of the best in, in recent memories, right? Now, do I think it's going to be a big like super boom, like how basketball and football had this moment these last two years? I'm not I'm not I'm not completely sure about that because what I would say about baseball out of all the other, out of the three major sports is that baseball is generally um pretty um like uh what's the word I'm looking for it's it's pretty consistent consistent yeah. it's pretty consistent in like what like what we're getting and like how hype people are about it and like the the collectors um compared to like basketball and football it really is up and down some years up and down right but baseball is the most consistent and i could see i could see this year definitely being bigger it's going to be a thousand percent bigger than last year first of all but will it be bigger than like the otani year or the judge year you know what i'm saying like i don't know i, I guess we'll see the thing that we saw with basketball is it was strange like you had like all this hype about these like about these rookies luca zion lamello those guys and then it actually trickled down to like veterans it trickled down to like steph curry parallels lebron parallels yeah at, like i ever i mean second third fourth fifth year cards that I don't think we're going to see with baseball. Yeah. I don't. I think. I think people are going to be chasing these rookies. These rookies are going to be going through the roof. But I don't think it's going to translate to well, an eight nine year 
uh, Mike Trout card is now going to go for a lot more money because everybody's chasing these rookies. You did see that with basketball. I don't think you'll see that with baseball. But I think baseball category is going to perform really well. Yeah, yeah. I think I think baseball is going to do like really well this year with the with the rookies, the the guys that just got caught up. It's gonna it's gonna make all, <clears throat> it's gonna make all the flagship um, non prospect products like really be sought after with especially if they perform right i mean that's that's the other thing you got to think about too right they actually do have to perform in the big leagues right in order for these products to keep going up and and hype for it to stay there all throughout the year and their teams need to be decent like that that's another concern i have with like say rushman say he has he's hitting 280 and has 15 home runs by the all-star break. That's a solid rookie season. But he's playing for a but, last place. But the team Baltimore is in last Orioles. place yeah. and not getting any buzz, any – I mean, not going to be shown on ESPN on a regular basis. They're not going to get, like, you know, the Fox game of the week or anything like that. It's not going to be the Tigers. They stick pretty true to, like, your rivalries of teams that are doing well. You're getting, like – you're going to get the, the Red Sox, Yankees. You're going to get the Giants, Dodgers. You're going to get – uh like even maybe the cut the Cubs always seem to get like some pretty pr- good primetime games as well, oh, just yeah. based on you know their market. But uh, yeah, I think I think in order to get that substantial buzz, the teams do need to be performing at almost like a five hundred level. They don't need to be like you know on pace to win a hundred games by the All Star break, but have to be. They they can't be in the cellar and and people still really really talking about specific players and this is where i think this is the the, why i think this this could be huge is that you have julio rodriguez who i think they're uh, one kyle lewis i think is hurt right now for the mariners so he's going to be in that lineup pretty much every day and that mariners team has their sights set on the post they they i mean i was reading something where they are the projected winners of that division wow that man until the Astros don't win it, I'm I'm, I'm I get I, I get what you, I get what you're saying, but I, I you know it, times might be changing. Times are changing. That's in for the sure. AL West. There's a lot of good young players on that team, and and the, there's that too that he's playing with like Jared Kelnick. He's playing with uh, Kyle Lewis, who a couple of years ago was the Rookie of the Year, and they're playing with guys who already were players that collectors were coveting over the last few years. So let's just add another guy to that list. Bobby Witt, Kansas City, who knows, a weaker division maybe. Um, and Detroit, I think, is a, actually a really interesting team uh, for a guy like Spencer Torkelson and Riley Green. I think they can make some noise. So I think overall, just based on those three guys, uh, I think it's as healthy as it could be in terms of player location and ta- player location, talent, and how competitive those teams are going to be. It does feel like the AL – is a little bit more loaded much more loaded. um at least with young and up and coming talent yeah. um rushman torkelson wit rodriguez Je- i mean wander just just to name name a few uh in the nl i mean we're going to be chasing I, crickets he, he no he <laughs> no. <laughs> Kiebert ruiz nationals yeah. yeah although his rookie was in 2020 D one tops chrome if I'm not he saying, was with the he, Dodgers with the Dodgers okay yeah so he did he did get called up uh, with the Dodgers and I think yeah. he played as soon as he went to the Nationals I think he pretty much played but, but to that point like I think there will be I mean this is where I think from the Joey second, Bart Joey Bart yeah yeah last again <laughs> a, a rookie last year where I think there's gonna be a lot of guys from last year where we think of last year as like oh what a d- tops chrome was disappointing yeah it, the rookie it, class it was could have it could have a resurgence yes absolutely hundred percent I think that's where you're really also going to see why it's not just this year's flagship products that are going to benefit it's all of the 2021 products where i think joe adele looked way better in spring training this year joey bart is going to be starting every day dylan carlson is going to be the lead off hitter for the st louis cardinals alec bohm i know is kind of an in-between but he's going to be starting for a phillies lineup that looks stacked so it's not just these 2022 guys but i think you're going to see like an after uh, it effect on the on a huge rookie class from last year that probably a lot of guys who weren't ready that weren't prepared to get into that that in in a normal year wouldn't have been Mm -hmm. in tops chrome in 2021 they probably would have been in it this year it probably would have not just had wander to start things off maybe you would have had a joey bart or a joe adele to kind of balance things out a little bit 
you know. Uh, and then I think the other guy to, the, uh, to, to mention, uh, well, I'll just ask you guys, is there a guy, a former sort of hobby favorite face of the hobby? Because for me, my pick is pretty obvious of a, a guy that's going to break mm-hmm. out. And I've already got him on the slide. It's Luis Robert, who I Louis think Bob's. is. we are ready for the year of Lou Bob. Like how last year Vladimir Guerrero uh, Jr. didn't come out of nowhere. But like I think a lot of people were like, when's it going to happen? And I think now is the year where Luis Robert is this year. I'm, I'm going, and I've been a fan of this guy, and I've been waiting, and I've already, I already was talking about him. Joe Adele, Joe Adele is my my guy. Yeah, I like that. And I don't have a pick because I'm a fan of Oakland. <laughs> Uh, well, whoever, whoever you were going to pick from Oakland is no longer on the yeah, team. Yeah, no. They, they just <laughs> – I saw that, yep. They uh, they traded him away. Mm-hmm. Um, is Austin Beck still there? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Uh, yeah, if you ask me to name – unfortunately, if you ask me to name um, – Five Oakland A's right now. Oh man! And, and, there you go. And, and, and that quiz. is and that is sad because you are a baseball guy, uh-huh. um, and a Bay Area guy. All right, let's let. I, can, can, I and I and I, and I I probably can't. I probably can't. Um, but I would be. I would actually pick you going over on five. Okay, let's let's see. Okay, I've let's got test you. I've got well, Christian Pache. Say that. We'll say Seth Brown. Is in Oakland A. Lou, there, there may be a guy named Seth Brown on the Fra- team. Fra- Frankie Montas is starting opening day. Uh, Shamanea no longer with the team. He's on the Padres. Uh, Lou Trevino, I want to say. Hey, oh, and uh, Sean Murphy. There you go. So there's five. I did it. You I did it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Congrats. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah. A good. Uh, no chance of me naming. Because <laughs> Montas was like my my go to. I know he's starting opening day. Yep. Um. They, uh, Sean Murphy is the catcher. He's the catcher. Okay. So they, they got, they got a catcher, uh, first base. There has to be somebody out there playing first base. I think it's going to actually be Seth Brown. Okay. I could be wrong. I, I, I really second base. They got a, like Mike Gallego. Uh, yeah. Mike Gallego. (laughs) Mike Gallego. Is he, (laughs) is he there? (laughs) I'm sorry. Sierra. This is, it's not fun. Uh, uh, Semyon, they let go. Yeah, Semyon's been gone. Uh, they, uh, n- oh, the Nick, Nick, uh, Nick, <laughs> Nick the A. <laughs> Nick, you know, Nick, Nick, <laughs> my friend Nick. He's on the Oakland A's. He Nick, tried out the other Nick, day and made the roster. My bro, Nick, on the A's. Um, the the kid he was in, he looks super young. He's on the team. His name's Nick. <laughs> Man, I I think we I think we just found a new segment. Name in Oakland Athletic. The state of Oakland sports. I got sports a guy, is very I got a guy named. <sighs> yeah, um, pretty rough. Outfield. They got. I mean, gotta have an out. Gotta have a outfield. Gotta have you a have, outfield. You usually need three. This team. This team is. This team can't be. They. They're not real. They're it's not. Like, how is this happening? So. So bad boy. Uh, okay, before before we we pile on this team too much longer, I do want to mention. Uh, I think the team that uh, if we're going to cap this off as the year of baseball cards, if it's really going to be the year of baseball cards, obviously Wander needs to hit Bobby. One of the two of the big three that just got called up. Plus, you got Riley Green as well waiting in the wings. I think they need to hit. Uh, and I also think as a team, I think the Angels need to get to the playoffs if this is truly going to be the year of baseball trout coming back Shohei obviously joe adele there's just if 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 that team made the playoffs the net benefit for this hobby would be massive but on paper they should they should they should on paper uh but now i mean it kind of looks like the mariners have leapfrogged the angels I'll, I'll still believe it when I see it with the M's. I just if there's if there's any team more cursed than that Angels team, it is the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Are we, do we find Paul, another Oakland? Paul Blackburn? Okay, sure. I'll take your word for it. He's uh, Brett Honeywell, former Ray. Oh yes, pitcher. of course. What about your Nick? Uh, yeah, where's Nick? Where's Nick? I'm AJ Puck. There's nobody named Nick. Oh yeah, AJ Puck. AJ I'm, Puck I, is still there. No, yeah. Uh, there, there's a Nick. <laughs> All right. There is, well, there is no Nick. Well, there, there is, 